talk about commercial reverse osmosis membranes. In front of me here I have five of the standard 4x40 membranes that are very popular for use in tap water applications. We'll start up at the front here. This is a TW304040, which is probably the original of the tap water series. This is in the Dow Film Tech line. Now this membrane will do 2400 gallons a day with 99.5% salt rejection and that's assuming a 225 psi inlet pressure and 2000 parts per million of sodium chloride in the water. Then we're going to move on to the second membrane here and this is an LE4040. Now this part number replaces BW30 LE4040. The most obvious difference you're going to see is this is a fiberglass wrap membrane whereas a TW membrane here was tape wrapped. This membrane is designed to do 2,500 gallons a day with 99% salt rejection and 150 psi. It doesn't sound like it makes sense that this is 125, or excuse me, 150 psi, and this is 225 psi. By having the fiberglass wrap, you can run the membrane at a higher pressure. This can be run as high as 600 psi, but the tests were done at 150 psi. We're going to move on to our next membrane here. This is the LP. 4040. Now this membrane does 2,900 gallons per day at 145 psi with 99% rejection. This replaces some of the older what they would call cold water membranes and it's very popular where, when you have water that's colder to go to what we call a quote unquote looser membrane where water will push through the membrane surface easier. The reason being is that you have a cold water correction factor. What that means is as, as the water gets colder that you're going to get less production with the same pressure. For example, if a membrane were to do like this, 2,900 gallons at 77 degrees, if that water temperature was around 50 degrees, your production would be cut in half. So if you have colder water or you just want to run at lower pressure, something like this LP is a great membrane to consider. We'll move to our next membrane here. This is the XLE4040. This, main, this membrane will produce 2,600 gallons per day at 100 PSI. This membrane is very popular for what we call the newer lower energy reverse osmosis systems. By running at 100 PSI versus 180 or 200 or 225, we're able to cut our electricity use about in half and get the same amount of production water. And the quality is actually very close. So this is a great membrane if your system is set up to run at lower pressures and you want to save on your electricity bill. We'll move to our last membrane here. This is the BW304040. This membrane does 2,400 gallons per day at 225 psi with over 99% rejection. This is another fiberglass wrap membrane, so this is commonly used, as the name suggests, BW means brackish water. This can be used in water that's 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 parts per million total dissolved solids. This can be run as high as 600 psi. You can always use it, of course, in a tap water system at 225 psi, but this fiberglass gives you that extra durability to go to higher pressures. So when you're ready to change out your membranes, make sure you take a look at all the offerings here from Big Brand Water, and then of course there's our Big Brand Private Label Series membranes, which offer similar performance, sometimes even at a more competitive price.